All right, guys, it is Wednesday, middle of the week, and we're gonna get after some arms today. We're doing two eight minute AMRAPs. So as many rounds as possible in eight minutes. There's gonna be a lot of variation today for my weighted and unweighted folks. So hopefully you guys have plenty of options to build some big arms. So first movement is going to be arm haulers. If you don't know what those are, it's essentially a Superman if he were swimming. So we're gonna to come to the floor here. And as I come to the floor, I'm going to lift the chest and torso, flexing the back. Arms are gonna come out. I'm gonna get some good twisting through the shoulders, come back behind me like I'm arrested. Then I'm gonna come back to the front. Those are our arm haulers. You're gonna do 20. If you have dumbbells or kettlebells, what you're gonna do is grab your dumbbells and this is your first weighted option. We're going to keep the shoulders tucked back. You're going to bend the knee a little bit, butt goes back. We're going to lift at the elbow to bring those dumbbells high. If you only have one, you're gonna work on one side at a time. If you only have a kettlebell, you're going to work on one side at a time. So come up, come down. That is what we would call bent over row. Now, if you need to, you can grab out your trusty band. This is our last option for my weighted folks. You're gonna put your feet within the band, grab a little low on it, shoulders go back, you're going to lift, come back down. Lift, come back down. That's our first exercise. 20 arm haulers or 20 bent over row with our kettlebells, dumbbells, or band. Up next, we're gonna do 20 bench dips. And what that looks like is we're gonna to come to a bench, chair, stoop outside your house, whatever you have. Hands are gonna go on the edge. We'll give you a couple options. You can plant your feet, scoot the butt just so it clears as we come down. I press up. Probably gonna be the easiest option we have. Next option would be straightening the leg because now I'm no longer able to push through my feet. A harder option still would be to grab out a stool or another chair and put it out a ways away from you. Now you're gonna put the heels on there, dip down, come back up. So 20 bench dips, or for my folks, again, who have some weights, what you're gonna do is the skull crusher. So if you only have one dumbbell, here's what it's gonna look like. You hold it by one edge. This upper portion of my arm is not gonna move. Dumbbell comes down towards my skull, hence why it's called the skull crusher, that I'm going to extend back up. If I have two dumbbells, what this looks like, it's very similar, but now I have that load on each side. It's a great tricep isolation movement. Cool. That's our weighted option for today. The 20 skull crushers with our dumbbells. Up next, we're going to do a little spin on our push-up, and we're gonna make it a little bicep dominant today. All we're doing is instead of going from the hands as normal facing forward, we're going to turn them the other way. So I'm gonna come to the floor here. Hands are gonna go close to my waist to make it harder. So harder, easier. This might be a little difficult on some of our forearms because I'm gonna keep that belly tight. I'm going to push up, come down, push up. And that's gonna get a little bit more into those biceps today. So we're doing 20 bicep push-ups. If you have those weights, Again, we can grab them. We're gonna keep the elbows pinned at the sides. We're gonna do 20 hammer curls. Only moving at the elbow, not lifting it up and away, trying to keep it real tight. If you want extra credit, go slower on the way down. If you have your band, you're going to just step the feet into the band. Then we're coming here, banded hammer curl. So 20 arm haulers 
or we're gonna do 20 bent over row with our dumbbells or kettlebell or band. Then we're gonna do 20 bench dips. So feet can be flat, heels can be out, heels can be on your stool. And then we can either do the dumbbell skull crusher with one or two dumbbells. Last movement, we're doing 20 bicep push-ups, or we're going to do 20 hammer curls with either our dumbbells or band. As many times through in eight minutes, then you'll rest for however long you feel you need to, go after it one more time. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure that you send it to somebody who needs it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for our next quarantine fit.